keep seeing a familiar face. It, it's Kuya Mike. I think he brought us something. Where is it? Oh, we can show it at the end. Right there. After no, he has something. Look has at something. that. Let's show it later. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. Thank you. So this is important to show because he just came back from the Philippines. Yes, um, open it. Open it. Should I open it? At the end, you want to open it? After yeah, we'll just. Okay. Let's do it now. Crossover Canada. Crossover Canada. Look at that. I should have wore it. But Good morning. thank you for being here, Coach Mike. How's your trip to the Philippines? Oh, it was great. Uh, Salamat din for having me again. Salamat. It was really a great trip and uh, very successful. We saw, I saw, well, I follow your, your social media. I saw a lot of posts. You, uh, you went to a lot of media outlets too. You had some interviews with, like, uh, Robert was with you. But there's one media interview you had there. But tell us, how are, how are the, your athletes? liking the Philippines right now and what and what do you feel from them about the, the Philippines? So as I said, you know, it was a really successful uh, trip. I had five players uh, recruited back home mm -hmm. and uh, it was kind of difficult in the first few weeks because mm -hmm. uh, because of the adjustment. Una -una, first, the adjustment to the weather Mm. Is, ano, at that time, it was kind of in the Philippines. Uh. And then the environment. Mm -hmm. So of course, not every part of the Philippines are like Canada. So it's a big adjustment for them. Mm -hmm. and at the same time, they're too young to be away from their parents. So that's mm -hmm. the most difficult part. Wherein, talagang no nagkiwale hiwale kami, may homesick na sila. Eh. So what? Oh, wow. Kasi what I did was the first, yeah. first week. Uh, we rented out a condo. So, we were together. 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 We were We have to bring in, bring in each individual person to school. Mm. Yung medyo mabigat, yung yeah. medyo mabigat, oh. medyo That's mabigat. what you, you said, delivering. Oh, <laughs> parang delivery. <laughs> parang delivery. Actually, siya. it was also stressful. Kasi oh. imagine, I have five players. Mm. One got recruited sa Ben Nild. One get recruited sa UP, mm -hmm. one get recruited sa UST, tapos dalawa mm -hmm. sa San Beda. Mm -hmm. So I have to juggle my time making sure na mm -hmm. they get enrolled, they mm -hmm. get their papers done properly. So para akong ano, para akong ping pong ball. <laughs> para, parang yung, yung role mo sa kanila, parang father figure ka rin nila, uh, pero oh, in basketball. Lahat nasa lang role. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, father figure, alala, <laughs> parang mentor mo rin sila. Oh, everything. Oh, oh. Basta anong kailangan nila, oh. just to make things easy for them. Oh. Sa transition, uh, I should be there. May, may mga question ba silang na tinanong sa'yo in terms of ano yung buhay sa Pilipinas, anong advice mo sa kanan sa I amin mean, pag nandito kami? May mga tinanong ba sila sa'yo? Yeah, basically what I did was mm. before we left, for the Philippines. Nagkaroon kami yung parang pre-departure meeting. What mm -hmm. to expect? Mm -hmm. Ano makikita nila? How different it is from the Philippines? Mm -hmm. Ano ang magiging initial uh, acceptance sa kanila? Mm -hmm. So, sa part na yun, medyo adjustable. Medyo ano sila, nakapa, meron silang idea mm -hmm. of what to expect. Mm -hmm. so, so, pagdating London, dun lang talagang true to life, ano na, <laughs> or hit it is yung sinasabi yeah. natin during the meeting. Mm -hmm. So, nakatulong yun. Nakatulong mm -hmm. yun para mm -hmm. sa mga bata. How are the parents taking it? How how are they trying to cope with their you know? If I were a parent and all and my kids were uh -huh. going overseas, I know what uh, what. Ano ka nang yeah. ano nag build ng trust sa mga parents na you know you're gonna take care of, na, that they can trust their kids with you na parang na build na trust uh, ano na kawain yung relationship nila sa kanila. So balik nito ang ginawa yeah. namin ano? Oh, yeah. personal yeah. ginawa ko. Of course, they've been with me for a long time, so they know mm -hmm. coach my. Mm -hmm. So most of them has been my players. At the same time, what I did was I partnered with someone back home, mm -hmm. na to ensure na this person uh, would take care of the kids while I'm away and or while I'm here in Canada. Mm -hmm. oh. So hats off to ano to Anton Altamirano who's been doing a real phenomenal job, mm -hmm. uh, taking good care of our kids back home. So mm -hmm. siya ang parang tatay figure ng oh, don mm -hmm. na mga bata. So mm -hmm. anything they have, any problems that they have, they have his number and he's my partner. Uh, managing those kids. Wow, that's so, good. That's good yeah. how you just have that core person because you never know. Maybe the next year you'll have another kid that's going down yeah, there. That's true. We have you room. open the door basically yeah, that, to this. That's true. Yeah. Uh, next year we're expecting another five. Wow. Yeah. Another yeah. five getting recruited. Actually, there are already three. Na uh, in na talaga. Just uh, waiting for them to finish high school and then. Mm -hmm. uh, 
they go straight to the school and then they to Tani. Mm -hmm. The I know the highly the highly talked about prospect in the Filipino community obviously is James Canlis. Yes, yes. Um, what's his story? Because I didn't know he was planning to go to the Philippines. That caught me by surprise. He's obviously on the radar for like Division One schools, like just normal NCAA, but. Yep. Now he decided to go to the Philippines. So what was the talk uh, and what was his decision making with that? Oh, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Nobody mm -hmm. expected that James Canlas would go back home mm -hmm. because of the uh, he's being recruited by Division One teams, right? Siguro decision of family mm -hmm. to look mm -hmm. for. I mean, what's the long term? Mm -hmm. Long term nung decision nila. So. Biglan lang tumawag, si Tomay, I'm ready to go home. Uh, sabi ko, are you joking or what? Yeah. <laughs> to ba to? Yeah. You, you, you said no already twice. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, I, mean, I, I have made the decision. I mm -hmm. wanted to go home. I wanted to go. I want to try it out in the Philippines and see what's the, in for me. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, he's the most recruited and highly recruited back home. Talagang mm -hmm. maganda yung ano sa kanya. And, uh, again, pasalamat sa San Beda. San Beda really took good care of him. Mm -hmm. Coach Jude, G-Boy, Arnie, uh, Gider, Coach Boyet. So maraming maraming salamat sa kanila. They really mm -hmm. took good care of uh, James Canlas. Not only James Canlas, but also Alvin Florido. Mm, yes, Alvin. Oh yes, two of them are there Two of now. them are yes. there. So. Mm -hmm.